I've been super privileged to uh, to be associated with such a big brand, such a uh, prestigious brand, you know, since 2016, I believe. Um, they're more than just a, a sponsor, uh, they're more of a family. They've been there for me since I was 11. Uh, they've been supporting me with equipment and apparel, and as the years went by, we developed more of a family relationship and not just a sponsorship relationship. I've been sponsored by Dunlop since the start of my professional career. Um, you know, their help and support has been an integral part to my development as a player on court. Um, they've been absolutely massive, uh, always supporting me, sending me the best kit and lots of it. And uh, it's not just that, like the team and the staff are really supportive and they always go to tournaments and get behind you. It's an extremely comforting feeling knowing that one of my main sponsors cares not only as me as an athlete but also as a human being and a person as well. I mean it's super important to leave a legacy uh, behind for the next generation of players. You get behind people in the sport rather than the sport itself. Like we get behind the Federers and the Nadals of tennis, the Michael Jordans of basketball. I think us players, we have the responsibility of uh, taking the sport to the next level and, and I hope we do so by the, by the time we finish our careers. Well, leaving a legacy is something we all are motivated by in any sort of walk of life. You know, something that people a number of years from now will remember you by. You know, when I was growing up, the people like Jonah Barrington, Jahangir Khan, people that were just inspiring. They inspire that next generation. So leaving a legacy, you know, is just probably one of the most important things you can do because unfortunately we're not here forever. Since the foundation has been formed, the impact that it's achieved is incredible and probably something though that is happening day in day out without people being aware of it and it's not until those future years like the legacy is probably realized the impact that it's actually had so incredibly important and it supports the tour behind the scenes at the grassroots level that perhaps people don't always see and that's so important to so many people. This squash isn't necessarily the most accessible game to everyone so making it easy for people to play um, will be massive and then as soon as they get on the court I reckon they'll love it because it's hard not to. I mean the squash community has often been said that it's kind of like a small close-knit community like everyone knows everyone kind of thing and you know number one we want to grow that and spread into sort of new areas that sort of never heard of squash before or didn't have a clue about squash and really grow that passion and inspire new people to take up the sport but then it's also a case of then interconnecting that existing community to sort of you know events around the world is kind of a much smaller place than it used to be and you know the foundation are really sort of bridging those gaps.